Hello guys, welcome back to our 33rd PHP and MySQL video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about timestamps and we will also learn how we can modify timestamp. So if you do not pretty aware about what timestamp is basically, so to give a quick idea, yes, you can say that timestamp is all about the current time or you can just make it, you know, difference between two dates today and the date you know specific date so all those operation which related to the dates and time they are basically related to timestamp so you have to learn timestamp and the operations we can perform on it to basically deal with the dates and time so first of all let's start from the beginning i have just created a variable and basically i will use just time function just simple time is that and it will get the timestamp and it will store in the t1 variable so basically this time function what is does that it get the number of seconds yeah it get the number of seconds from the january 1st 1970 so now let's save this one let's let me print it out so that you guys can have a better idea that what it is so we'll just print out dollar sign t1 and just simple as that now let's see on our web page that how it looks like so here can you can see that 14 20 is the number of seconds from the january 1st 1970 but you know this number is quite large and it's not really understandable for a normal person if you see it on a web page you you cannot understand that what it is or how we can you know get an idea that what the time or what the date it, it it's been showing so to do that we have we just print this day in a particular way so what we do here that we use a function to do that for example in this case I will use a function which is called date and I will create a new variable and call it t2 and I will use the date function here this date function require two parameters the first parameter specify the format in which you want the date to be shown the second parameter is the timestamp itself which is this t1 variable is holding the value so now let's go the format you know the first parameter which is the format of to display the date is basically given in single quotes then comma then the second parameter which is a timestamp which is a t1 variable in this case and in this these two single quotes we actually define the format in which we want to get our you know the timestamp to be displayed in a particular format for example if we want to display it in a we that first the name of the day come then the month then the year then we can simply just go with day make sure the d is smaller alphabet so you know there is a difference between upper and lower case alphabet so i will explain them later so first of all let's go with d smaller then backslash, then m for month and then you can say that y for year so day month and year this is the format I, I want here to print up yes we can just simply instead of creating this variable t2 we can just echo it out so we will just simply you know print out the output of this this function directly so i can say that time is sorry in this case we are printing date so you can say that date is equal to then dot which is basically the concatenation symbol so date function is printing out here day month and year and make sure you give the second parameter which is the timestamp itself in this case t1 variable is holding the timestamp so that is the parameter that you have to give now let's save this one let's go to our web page and just refresh it here you can see saying that date is 25th 
which is the number of the day of in the in this month and the second month it is and 2015 so now let's change this small d into a uppercase d and this month from smaller to uppercase and also we will change the year as well from smaller y to capital y let's see the difference that how it looks like now refresh it and here you can see it's saying that date is wednesday so wednesday it is and feb which is the month and 2015 so you can use it in you know, particular ways regarding to your requirement or what user has specified you to do so basically this depend upon what you want to do here there is a, a little bit more thing to do here that we can also go with the time as well so in this case we have provided day month year and we can say that this is the date and then we can go with minute colon hour colon second m i yes so m for minute i for second and oh, sorry h i yes so which would be h i yes h for hour i for minute and then s for seconds save this one go to web page refresh it here you can see it's saying that it's about 8 53 and 51 seconds so basically it depends upon your requirement i usually prefer to go with only the date itself but you can also go with the time as well here you can see this okay so i will just simply restrict to the date not going with the time because I want to be keep the thing simple so there is also another way of how we can get the how we can get the date and time as well so but this this way is the you know a famous method most of the people use this method to do the things with the date using timestamp and there's another way we can modify the timestamp to get a particular a specific date we want to be print out here so that is also a good way so in this case let's suppose let's bring a i would say let's get to two line breaks here to specify the things okay so now for example i want to sp i want to specify a particular date from the date today for example is 25th february so i want to get the you know you can say that i want to get one week or you can say two week two week in the past so now let's see how we can modify our timestamp to do so to go two week in the past we can simply do by using a a function which is called str to time it basically help us to do so there is few other method as well around but in this case because we are only keeping ourselves to the timestamp so we will just try to do this with the timestamp only so basically now I will just simply change this one from capital to smaller so that we can have a better idea that what we are doing because in this case we are using the name of the day and month so it will not may affect because we are going in one week or you know going back and we can go and go forth as well go forward with the in this case it will come into the in form of numeric value so here we can have a better idea so now let's modify this timestamp as well i will just again echo i will say new date and I will just print out I will say current date is and new date is to make it more you know comparable okay so now let's I want to just modify the current timestamp so that I can get to a particular date I will just use str to 
time function this time function requires the only one thing to specify how much you can go forward or go in the past or you can go in the future and how much day week or month you want to modify so for example if i want to go about two weeks in the past i can just simply specify minus one week just save this one and let's go to our web page let's print it out here you can oh it's just going with the stem so we have to print out the format as well okay so we will use it with the date function remember it's really a mistake but don't worry we are just about to keep on track okay so we have specified the format str2 time minus one week so we will go minus about one week in the past so here you can see from 25 it goes to 18 of feb the month is same because we are not modifying by month we are just going one week in the past now let's suppose that we want minus three weeks so we want to go three week in the past refresh it here you can see fourth of feb let's suppose i want to go about seven weeks in the past here you can see saying that 7th january 2015 we can go in the future as well i would say plus seven weeks so here you can see saying that for 15th april 2015 we can also you know use to go with the day as well and alongside the week so i would say seven plus seven week and three days i think so seven is a little bit more so we will just go with one week and three days save this one refresh it here you can see seven is about one week and three days into the future so this is the example of how we can modify a time step to get a particular date as well it's just a basically kind of introduction tutorial just to know about what the timestamp and what we can do with it in the future we are going to you know we will use this timestamp to store the date in the in the mysql and also we will retrieve it and uh, compare it with a particular date so we can know about the difference between two dates and all those things we will do in the future so if you have any question regarding this tutorial you are welcome to ask you know where to ask the social pages or website or you can just leave a comment below this video and i will definitely reach up your question and answer them so just take care of yourself and goodbye guys follow us on youtube facebook twitter google plus visit our website www.sardreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more